guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Taurus, welcome to your April reading. So I'm going to be doing Twin Flame reading, an extended version, so I'll be pulling three clar clarifiers per position. Mercury retrograde, having a hard time talking today. Okay, so I'm going to use different decks here. So the past position, um, we're going to use the John Holland's Psychic Tarot. And... John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart for the present position. Thank you for your your order and your support. I love you guys so much. Okay. And so for I think the we'll go to the union energy. So what the feminine and masculine are bringing into the union, we'll use Call it Baron Reed Enchanted Map. And I think we'll use the Call it Baron Reed Wisdom of the Oracle for the final outcome. So we'll be doing a little bit of a reading today. Okay, and let's use. Um, Dorian, Dorian Virtues Archangel Tarot for the near future. Alright, and I'm going to use for the Osho Zen, I'll use this as an overall energy and I'll begin the reading by reading from the book. This one, okay. So, we'll move into the Union, Shared Energy, um, Fairy by Lenormand. Okay, and we'll use my deck for the Heart-Centered Energy. That one, okay. Oops, I almost looked at it. All right, and so let's shuffle my little decks here for clarifiers. So, Taurus. I'm learning the zodiacs a little bit more in depth as I do these readings. So you are reliable, patient, practical, devoted, responsible, stable. Your likes, romance, awesome. But you can be a little stubborn, a little uncompromising, non-moving. And so that's, you know, earth energy. It's all about the 3D reality, like creating beauty in your life. You're about home and stability. Okay, so let's begin with the Osho Zen. What is going to be the overall energy for the month of April for Taurus? Ordinariness, oh my gosh. You guys love this card, right? The Eight of Pentacles, it's all about the beauty of life and enjoying being in the outdoors. You guys love gardening. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It describes you guys perfectly. Okay, so let me read that. You guys don't like change very much, so I think that's a good energy for you. All right, so it says... Sometimes it happens that you become one. In some rare moment, watch the ocean, the tremendous wildness of it, and suddenly you forget your split, your schizophrenia. You relax, or moving in the Himalayas, seeing the virgin snow on the Himalayan peaks. Suddenly a coolness surrounds you, and you need not be false because there is no other human being to be false to. You fall together. 
or listening to a beautiful uh, music, you fall together. Whenever, in whatsoever situation, you become one, a peace, a happiness, a bliss surrounds you, arises in you, you feel fulfilled. There is no need to wait for these moments. These moments can become your natural life. These extraordinary moments can become ordinary moments. That is the whole effort of Zen. You can live an extraordinary life in a very ordinary life. Cutting wood, chopping wood, carrying water from the well. You can be tremendously at ease with yourself, cleaning the floor, cooking food, washing the clothes. You can be perfectly at ease because the whole question is of, of you doing your action totally, enjoying, delighting in it. Nice. So this is the energy that you're in, peacefulness, you know, not needing, not wanting, just enjoying life as it comes. Okay, so let's begin with the Twin Flame reading. Um, I'm almost being drawn to see what you guys are bringing into the union. So what is the feminine bringing into the union? One ring circus, so creating boundaries for herself. Putting herself first. That's nice. So let me read that. Alright, so it says, You are capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have a vision or resources that you need. Recognizing all that all the wisdom you have you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent, capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. By discerning about your, but be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and another begin, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationship and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutual, mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. So what I see here is this, um, you know, um, body language. The feminine has created boundaries for herself, but she's sitting on an elephant that can't move anywhere, basically, right? Um, so there's a sense of her taking on responsibilities, but also being able to relinquish responsibilities. Um, she's creating this balance within herself, right? Realizing she can't do everything. And if she gives too much of herself, then she's giving herself away, right? So she's sitting on this elephant. Her body position is kind of facing away from the union, but she's looking towards the masculine, right? Um... Her attention is on the masculine. She's not moving anywhere, but there's a sense that she's not going to give too much of herself right away. So let's pull the clarifiers. Okay, so the Eight of Wands, the Tower, and the Philosopher. So we have the Eight of Wands in the past position. This is accelerated energy. It's enthusiasm, excitement, communication, right? You guys are texting each other, communicating your, your feelings. Um and manifesting your desires. So very excited energy, Cupid's arrows as well, coming in from the past, which is creating um, the tower, the house of cards. So illusions are coming down. You are seeing the truth through destruction. You're discovering answers, illumination, wisdom through destruction. So there's a sense that you have surrendered to the destruction. This was meant to be. This eight of wands brought this energy in like this fiery wind and broke down all the illusions for you. Now, in response, you may have created this um, boundary, you know, um, around yourself in the 3D, but you're still there in the ethereal. Your attention is still with the masculine. Now, the future position, we have the hermit or the philosopher, and that's a very similar energy. They are detached from the 3D reality. Now, these are people who have been on a spiritual journey for a while, and they've created, you know, they've um, acquired a lot of wisdom. And so this is coming in the future. So from this chaos tower, you know, it was a positive energy that created the tower. And the, the wisdom that you will acquire from it, you know, is 
is the truth of what you were looking for, right? When you seek solitude, um, that is where when the answers come. So even though you've created boundaries in terms of the reunion, um, you've surrendered to it. This is positive energy that's tearing down illusions. And you may be disconnecting from it in the 3D reality, but you're on a spiritual journey. You aren't disconnecting from it um, to avoid or run away from something. This is... I am not chained to anything. No illusions can tie me down. I, this connection, this relationship is awakening me. Okay, so what is the masculine bringing in? Wide open, nice. Okay, so absolute opposite energy. Now, instead of creating your own little island, the masculine has climbed to the toppest or the highest mountain to the top and is open and is is expressing themselves. They're wide open, they're receiving, right? And here we got a closed off energy. Okay, so the two of cups, nice. Five of cups and the nine of wands. So two of cups past position spiritual union rec you know meeting your twin flame so that's where that accelerated eight of wands energy came from just so much excitement and deep love right so this is an ignition heart chakra opens higher levels of consciousness it opened him wide now the two has progressed to the five of cups in the, the present position so this is mourning loss sadness heartbreak he feels that he has lost this connection and he, it's like he's willing it towards him. He's being open to it. He desires it. It hurts the it hurts him that, you know, that the feminine might be, I'm almost feeling, you know, sabotaging, self-sabotage in order to bring the tower in. But it, there's a, a an awareness behind it. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what the rest of the reading says. But there is sadness here because of this connection. He can't. He keeps thinking about it, and he's still open to it. Now, the Nine of Wands is coming in the future, so that this is a wounded warrior. So it, this is continually being beaten down, right? And so this heartache, you know, gets to a point where he feels like giving up, but he, he continues on. Right? There's still so much that he needs to work through um, to be able to fully give of himself. Right, He has to deal with that heartbreak. So what is in the past position? Can you see those? All right. Past position for the feminine, trapped in fear. Okay, so again, it's creating that island around yourself, protectiveness. Maybe even self-sabotaging. Now, the Eight of Swords. Oppressive energy coming from the outside. So you believed that you were trapped by the mind. That you had no choices. That you had no way out. You are setting up healthy boundaries, though. Okay, so... Four of Swords, good. The Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay, so that's why. Uh, the Four of Swords should actually come after the Three of Swords over here. So... There's this regression, there's darkness and, and heartbreak that's coming from the past that that caused you to give a situation your thumbs down. Do you know what I mean? It's not worth it, right? It's um, what I see here in the four swords. You t took a moment, you retreated from arguments, from heartbreaks, from a negative situation in order to heal your heart. Then these obstacles and challenges came along and you just didn't feel like you had enough strength in you to fight for what you wanted. And so you stayed in your prison. And as a result, it's causing heartbreak for yourself and for the masculine. All right, so the masculine side, past position. Wow, the nine of swords suffering in silence. Interesting how we have a masculine that is trapped by fear, 
and a feminine who is suffering with silence, but it's the same on the top of the mountain looking out. But in terms of this connection, there's a positive vibration of being on top of that mountain. Here in the past, he was waiting. So um, this is a progression from the eight to the nine. The nine is nearing the end of that, right? Freeing yourself from that. So in the past, he has freed himself. That's why he's standing there, so powerful. He, the nine of wands, you know, is that strength, the courage not to give up, the courage to keep going, because he believes in this connection. Wow, the three of swords again. What? The five of wands. Oh my God, four of cups. Yeah. Wow. So the same two cards over here, but instead of the four of swords, it's the four of cups. Interesting. So what I see here is um, self-sabotaging because of fear, um, setting yourself up for failure. You know, it's a cyclical situation that's happening. So the Three of Swords, past position, same card that's coming in the future over here. So we have the Three of Swords, but also the Four. Remember I mentioned that there would be a retreat, right? The card before this is the Three of Swords. So it's showing up in the masculine side. So the Three of Swords, heartache, heart, heartbreak, and looking out at that pain, um, but still seeing the light, right? The sun is, is rising, a dawn of the new day. But still there is that precipice separating the two of you. You know, we got, this energy is facing that way, but this energy is facing that way. So it's like somebody has turned their back on somebody and, you know, same card, five of wands here in the present position. Too many challenges, too many things to overcome. And then we have the four of cups, which is, going into solitude, avoiding, it's ghosting somebody, right, and what I fear, uh, feel here is that the feminine was the one that did the ghosting and is felt by the masculine. She did the ghosting because there's nothing that she could do. The masculine maybe presented the challenges and she just um, didn't want to sacrifice herself, right? So that's why she created this, these boundaries and solitude and disconnect. But it's, like I said, it's come, in the future, it's coming from a wise place. In the past, the solitude came from self-preservation, right? Self-preservation. Needing to face the facts and heal yourself, heal your wounds. It's almost like that eight of wands came, that communication came and very suddenly and created this chaos in your life that it, it, it triggered you to, to retreat. You're the runner in this situation. The, the masculine is the pursuer, right? We've got the two of cups, um, a desire to fight for something, for what he wants. He's always looking out, you know, and you're the one creating the boundary. All right. So... Um, what is in the feminine's present position? Control. Nice, nice, nice. So this is a strength card, but we can see here how she's taming her beast within. She's not reacting to situations. She's creating um, a gentle, loving, nurturing space, and she's controlling herself. Even though there's this turmoil surrounding her, she is keeping her composure. The magician. Nice, the Three of Wands and the King of Wands. So Magician, Past Position, uh, this is focus, contr control, concentration, attention placed on um, a goal and having the power to manifest that goal. So you're creating the reality that you desire. So it's a number one, activation, absolute power. You must activate the Magician in order to, to move Right, to be the fool and move on, you know, take that leap of faith and move forward. You need the magician to do that. 
So this is like that first step. Okay, so there was that activation crown chakra that she made an, an, an aware, she had a realization about how powerful she was. And so this strength, this control that she has, again, is coming from a place of wisdom. So in the present position, present, present position, we have the three of wands. Because she had that activation, it's creating this excitement in her life. Um, she's getting the thumbs up now, right? In the past, it was the same position as the thumbs down. So things are turning. She's seeing things from a higher perspective. And that's encouraging her. She's getting a thumbs up from the universe. Encouragement. Keep going. You're starting to manifest, right? So this is the master manifester, that idea activation. And here we have that activation starting to manifest fully. And then here with the king of wands in the future, that's full manifestation and that's full power, that's full strength. So it could represent a fire sign, but this is masculine energy who is the leader, who is unchained, very powerful, very charismatic, uh, creative, but in control mental control of that that power that energy right so that could represent the feminine or it could represent the masculine kings and queens could be all the core cards could be either or depending on what you're resonating with so the masculine's present position is the seven of swords seek the truth more swords but at least now interesting how all of the cards the person is facing away. However, in the present position, now he's actively seeking out the truth of a situation. Why did this happen? Why did I retreat? And so his soul is opening up. All feminine represented there. Interesting. I feel more of a masculine energy definitely on the feminine side, right? The king the um there's a masculine here i almost see the the strength card as a masculine energy but it's an introvert so it actually is feminine let me pull the clarifiers okay so the nine of cups the five of pentacles and the three of cups nice so past position nine of cups pointing to the two of cups over there this is dreams and wishes coming true feeling like you've arrived at this beautiful place where you can celebrate life there's dancing and music, friends, family. So this energy of love is unforgettable. Can't stop thinking about it. This time when I felt so happy and connected, what happened? I want to discover the truth. The Five of Pentacles in the present position is feeling alone, feeling abandoned, feeling like you have no help. Also feeling like you need to detach yourself in order to find freedom. So the masculine, although is, you know, still kind of in a mental state in the present position, um, there's this emotional loss and disconnect that is really driving him to, to discover the answers. And he will. With the Three of Cups in the future, we have that celebration coming back again. So this is two people creating third energy, which is love, and celebrating that love being excited about it, having it bubbling up and welling within you. So celebration, um, feeling blessed, feeling alone, seeking the truth, opening up the soul, and then celebration once again. So you create your own reality. So the near future for the feminine, the Empress, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Again, um, gentle, nurturing, loving mother energy. The Empress, um, this could be your Taurus energy, Earth. Very grounded. Uh, so again, this is somebody who, you know, she's Mother Earth, right? So um, she's all about manifesting. She's the stargate that bursts things into the 3D reality surrounded by beauty and nature. So it says, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. So you step into the divine feminine, feminine, <laughs> feminines, fem uh, yins. You step into this yin e energy. And I like seeing that because um, 
you know, you were this fragile, um, very protected um, person in the past, very guarded, and now you're giving, you're, sorry, I didn't mean to bump that, now you're giving of yourself. The Knight of Pentacles, wow, Heart Chakra, nice. Nine of Cups, awesome. So the Knight of Pentacles, there's your Earth Energy again. So taking things slowly, right? Enjoying in the moment, this moment in now, enjoying um, the Earth and its beauty. Uh, so, but the night is the slowest moving night, right? He takes one step at a time. Every action is planned and executed, right? So this, this movement is very slow, like a Taurus, but he always arrives at his de destination, um, dependable, right? So it took a long time for the feminine aspect to arrive at this divine place in her life, um, yeah, but I'm also getting this necessary uh, need to take action on something, right? Um, the journey isn't over just yet. So the heart chakra present position, the empress is the goddess of love. Heart chakra wide open, the near future. Oh, yeah, and you know what that does? That That draws abundance into your life. The Nine of Cups, again, wishes fulfilled. It took a long time for you to get to this point, um, but the journey is well worth it, right? Unconditional love all the way. So near future for the masculine, new beginnings. So starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Okay, so, you know, this is like the judgment card. So this is reviewing your life, seeing, you know, that your entire life has just been an illusion, right? So we see that review, that seeking the truth, seeking op answers, being open to, being wide open to experiences. And as a result, he discovers this truth, this illumination. And here now he's being represented as this angel in the clouds, right? Um, he's hearing the calling. But again, new beginnings, major shift, not looking away anymore, now looking forward, taking on this power. Eight of Cups, nice. Four of Pentacles, nice, the High Priestess. So Eight of Cups, making a decision to walk away from an, emo an emotionally draining situation in, in search of self, so going, embarking on a spiritual journey. Great. That's awesome. We see that in the past. Good for you. However, the four of pentacles in the present position. So this is somebody being closed off. Okay. So there's a period in the near future where the masculine may shut himself off in the 3D reality in response to the need to seek out answers. But in that solitude, he reviews everything and discovers some major truths. Um, and even more so with the high priestess in the future, this is your intuition, your subconscious mind. So he really delves deep into the subconscious um, and discovers maybe why he's the one that was closed off um, and then opens up, right? So we got closing off to, to opening up to major awareness here. But it, it takes that decision to move on uh, first. So he discovers the answers he's been looking for and is coming from an intuitive place. He's being guided on this journey. Okay, so final outcome for the feminine. Come to the edge. Very freaking cool. Noise. Oh my God. Right, it's very reminiscent of this energy here where this is creating boundaries this is coming to the edge and being open to the experience very similar to this one right you're throwing your little heart pedal heart pedals out into the wind to be carried to the masculine being open so let me read that
Okay, so courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Nice. Okay, so it says, It's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept, kept hidden and protected. Now's the time to take that risk that, and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, stay who you are, say what you hope for. This is not a time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You would be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step towards the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. So, you know, that's that one step at a time energy, right? So if this is what you desire, move towards it. And so, again, we have this feminine energy of movement towards um, the masculine. So it's kind of reversed here. Um, her attention is away but the body is towards. Nice, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Swords. Nice, the Ace of Wands. So the Ten reduces to one, and then we have an Ace, so an Eleven on either side of this mental conflict. So the Ten of Cups, past position. We got the Nine progressing to the Ten. So this is very cool. That Heart Chakra brings this sense of, of peace and harmony in your life and that opens you up you're able to face mental conflict walk away from arguments those fears in your mind and you know release yourself the ace of wands in the future position is a go like go time so it's a new start new beginnings So the final outcome for the masculine, oops, between worlds. So transition, movement from darkness into light. That's awesome. So transition, not being quite out of one situation fully, engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. So the message is, this is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It's not a moment for certainty, for certainty, but rather to discover and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever. So allow yourself to explore what you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself, what you need, what you like or dislike, what values are important to you. You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Nice. So transition, but again, the movement towards. So there's this warmth that is guiding him. It's that opening up again, right? looking at the sun, discovering truth about himself. Okay, the Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, nice, the Ace of Swords, awesome. Queen of Swords, past position, so this is an air sign. Uh, so this is somebody with cutting words, um, seeing through bullshit, uh, it's justice, um, yeah, she she speaks her truth, right? She uh, she doesn't mess around. So there's a sense of a communication happening, and this could be a karmic partner who has no emotions. Uh, so there's this communication that took place um, that had kept him in this mental prison. He was believing those stories. So the Eight of Swords, we had the progression from the Seven to the Eight. So what I see here with the Ace of Swords is decision made to release himself from that prison that's the key to unlock the door all swords energy so coming out of that darkness is the very positive card it's success victory in that decision and it's a new beginning so there's two aces in the future So for the foundation, 
we have, um, I think this is like a resolution. Let me just look it up. All right, so it says, so faith, the cross, shows resolution and acceptance of the reading, um, grace of a solution and resolution, suffering, burdens, problems, and trouble. So, you know, what I see here is somebody sitting there um, on their little island and kind of pissed off, right? Feeling like things aren't moving at all. But again, it's that, that energy of creating boundaries okay so one card for the feminine six of cups and the masculine the moon so the masculine darkness right transition so the masculine was in this dark night of the soul the shadow side um, was bringing out all of these fears and triggers in the masculine uh, we have a feminine angel sitting here and kind of looking at the six of cups desiring union you know what's going on here um, you know, thinking about things and then needing to withdraw from that altogether. But there's this desire to reconnect, reunite with somebody from the past. Memories of love. And I, this card is about resolution, right? So there's answers are discovered as a final outcome with the Ace of Swords for the masculine and the resolution of this beautiful home, happy home is coming as a final outcome. So the crowning energy, crossroads. So you need to make a decision, right? You both desire to move forward with this connection, to go towards the sun, avoid the darkness. Okay, so one card, nice high priest, and the page of pentacles. So the page of pentacles is new beginning, right? So taking um, an idea, and committing to it, committing to it long term. So this could be a new job, having to move, but there's plans being worked on in order to ensure stability, in, you know, as a final outcome. So again, more earth energy here, and it's a double earth because pages, um, you know, are just messengers. They don't move, right? They're all about new beginning. It's a planning stage. Um, and earth energy again, um, very slow moving, but we see that progress taking place. So the high priest is what you are, the feminine are bringing in. So this is crowning energy, what you desire. So you want to make a decision, um, that will bring spiritual awareness either to the masculine or that you are projecting this spiritual energy as like this leader spiritual leader right we have the king of wands who also takes on that kind of role um so you want to perhaps guide the masculine on, in the right decision um or you want the masculine to take on this role but there's this new start right that is there uh this is also earth energy Yeah, so making a decision, not being stuck in that crossroads anymore. So be gentle, right, and allow the masculine to discover this truth and move through that transition on his own. You are the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so what are we missing now? The heart, seven of wands, courage strength to speak up speak out say what's on your mind um being the king of the hill not backing down so at the heart there's this spiritual power of the seven of wands so this is being on the right spiritual path right and having the encouragement and excitement of the six of wands with it which is a rock star um fueling your fire so there's a lot of passion there a lot of spirituality um and a lot of enthusiasm at the heart of the connection. So that's what's keeping 
this moving forward. There's so much love there coming in from the past. And spiritual connection. Okay, so one card each. Wow, the seven of wands. There you go. And the devil. Interesting. So there you are, the, uh, the feminine. Um, you know, encouraging him. Um, sending out positive vibrations. Right? But there's also this sense that you need to kind of tame that energy. Right? And allow him to discover his truths on his, on his own. Be the empress. Be receptive. So the ego, that's where all this trapped prison, um, seclusion, you know, just negative energy is all coming from the ego. But, you know, the ego can't stand a chance, obviously. It's like mega phone times two there. Um, darkness can't exist in light. All right, so let me pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids. So this will be the final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for Taurus? Whoa, okay. <laughs> um, so I always pick for the feminine first, and it's in reverse. So it's the Nautilus angel in reverse, and the next card is the masculine. Stranded, are you kidding me? Creating an island for yourself. Okay. Um, I think you both are creating an island. Well, let's see what the Nautilus is in reverse. I bet you it's the same thing. What number is that again? Uh, two. Okay, so let me be your angel. I'll watch over you with all the loving tenderness you gave to help me through. Yes, that's what I'm seeing, right? Gentleness. Let me hold your head up. I will guide your way, the way you led me through the maze when my steps went astray. There's those steps again. So there's this recognition that the masculine has helped you, guided you, you know, or the universe. Um, so a delicate angel with brown feathered wings lovingly embraces a shell of a nautilus. Through her, though her eyes are wide with concern, the protective cradle of her arms suggests a true sense of guardianship and care. Okay, so it's in reverse. So the meaning is, assert your independence. Okay, and that independence was very strong with this card as well. And, you know, the Empress is very independent as well. Okay, so... You have a lot of people who love and care for you, but lately you have been relying too heavily on the, their generous support. You have the means to take care of your own needs, and it's time you make use of your capabilities and become the responsible, independent person you're destined to be. Okay, so independence is a good thing for you. The universe is encouraging you to be independent. Um, but also come to the edge, right? You know, don't close yourself off to anybody. Don't be overly protective of yourself. So, stranded. Okay, so for the solitary seafarer, the time has come to weep, longing, empty, yearning for dreams dreamt dark and deep. Didn't I say that? Right, thinking about the past, longing for that connection. Um, forlornly lamenting, she aches to close the gap she keeps, remembering a loved one as she drifts uh, off to sleep. So remembering, thinking, that precipice, that, you know, closing that gap. Slipping into nothing, an oaken gnarled embrace, listlessly awaiting the sun's illustrious face. Alone on an island, swiftly shrinking space, she is stranded alone, afraid, and in disgrace. So there's that mourning again, feeling alone, closed off, alone with the Five of Pentacles. So, um, alone and stuck in a gnarled tree on a deserted island, a melancholy mermaid stares into the distance. Yep, you're staring into the distance with almost every single card. 
oblivious to the sunset rising behind her. She is pale and lost in reverie. She is isolated and lonely, but why? So the meaning is stop isolating yourself, masculine. You may feel deserted, but it is a self-imposed isolation. Yes, the Eight of Swords, remember? Self-imposed prison. You put yourself there. Same thing over here. Um, what you see as rejection is all in your mind. Others are not avoiding you. There's that avoiding, right? I called it. The feminine, you retreated, and it was, it was shown, it was picked up by the masculine as abandonment. Um, you are avoiding them preemptively by pre preventing them from rejecting you. It is not healthy to avoid relationships and interactions for fear of losing a loved one or becoming embarrassed. It is time to step off the island you have created for yourself and join the rest of society. Make contact with a friend you have been avoiding. Go back to the class and meetings you bowed out of and wisely invest in new modes of communication. So you can talk once again to the world. The world is waiting for you. It is up to you to, t to take the first step. So, wow. This powerful energy of speak up, speak out, and same thing with this card. Wide open. That's all about, you know, climbing to the top of the mountain and screaming. Power, power, speak up. Whatever it is that you wanted to say, say it. Do the things that you wanted to do. Life is so short, guys. Live it to the fullest. Enjoy in every moment. Don't isolate yourself. All right, so I do hope you enjoyed this. Sending massive love. Cheers.